What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We're rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates so if you want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news first and fast then make sure that you do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Daily transfer videos. We also happen to be aiming for 15,000 subscribers. We're less than 100 subscribers away. I'm hoping we can hit that within the next day or so. So any help towards that would be much appreciated. So if you are enjoying the videos, then do subscribe. Social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen too. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Don't forget also, like goal, 300 likes. So leave a thumbs up on this video if you do enjoy this video. And lastly, most importantly too, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say. So without further ado, let's crack on with this video. Man City apparently want to spend over £200 million in the summer, so we're getting linked left, right and centre with some deals, which we will address in this video. But first, contract news, Sergio Aguero news. Now, uh, the update on him is that Manchester City want him on a new contract, 12-month extension. Apparently, Man City wants a half his wage. Now, before I speak about his wage, uh, I've heard that Aguero's wanting a two-year deal, at least, um, and Man City are only willing to offer 12 months. That could be one little hinge on uh, him signing a new contract. Uh, the wage as well, which is apparently being uh, rebuffed by, um, by uh, Jose Alvarez, who's reliable with Aguero information. And to be honest, it's no wonder Aguero uh, hasn't signed as of yet, if if that rumour is true, which I don't think it is, because Aguero, uh, Manchester City legend, Man City's all-time leading goal scorer, I don't think City are going to be as insultive to say that you need to sign uh, a new contract halving your wage, I just don't see City doing that. Apparently Aguero's on around £250,000 per week, I'm not too sure on what the figures are, if I'm honest I thought he'd be on a, more at Manchester City, I'd have thought he'd be right at the top of the pay scale, £300,000 per week, uh, and get nearer that is the figures that I've heard so uh, I'm not too sure on the reliability of this I don't see that being true I see the 12 month offer there and Aguero one in two years being true half his wage don't see that being true apparently the mirror reporting that Manchester City want Aguero to prove his fitness first before a decision will be made on his contract which again considering the season ends um, in May uh, we have it, it, to be fair it, that isn't that long away uh, we're talking what four months or so away uh, so there isn't too long for Aguero to prove his fitness um, I think it would just be more of a uh, a solidarity type of contract extension from Manchester City. City giving Aguero a contract extension because of what he's done for Manchester City rather than what he'll do this season because I think he'll just be uh, injured throughout the rest of this season and I can understand City's stance in half in his wage. It means then we're saving on a fair bit of wage that we can bring another player in and we can kind of phase Aguero out. I just don't see City doing that. What I do see City doing is trying to get him on a 12-month extension. Aguero will want um, a 24-month extension, obviously a two-year extension extension and I can see Aguero speaking with other teams, Barcelona, their links they've got, not got much money so I don't see them uh, if I'm honest being in for Aguero and if it is that will be a wage cut uh, but he does have the offer that if Messi decides to stay at Barcelona to go and join up with Messi so that may happen but PSG's want to keep an eye on they may want to offer him the same wage maybe even a little bit more money, a little bit of a sweetener for him to go there and trust me teams get uh, a smell of Sergio Aguero leaving Manchester City and getting him on a free, there'll be a lot of teams out there interested in him and I wouldn't be surprised to see other Premier League teams uh, going in for him. I reckon Sergio Aguero will show some loyalty to Manchester City and probably go to a team uh, abroad because I reckon he's achieved everything there is to achieve in England. I think he's only after the illustrious European Cup, the Champions League is what he'll be after. Uh, so I don't see him going to another team in England, whether that's down to loyalty or what he's achieved at Manchester City. That remains to be seen. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with Sergio Aguero. What would you do? 12 month extension? What happens if Aguero doesn't agree to that? Would you let him go? Would you give him two years? Well, where do we go? I mean, it could be a little bit of a damp squib, really, for uh, Aguero leaving. He may leave with no fans being in the stadium and City fans not getting a proper farewell to our all-time leading top goalscorer, the man that won us our first Premier League trophy score in that illustrious 93-20 goal. So, yeah, I have mixed feelings about this, if I'm honest. Um... Yeah, like I said, give him the same wage, 12 month extension, I'm happy to give the 12 more months of uh, Sergio Aguero, bring in an attacker regardless of what happens in the uh, summer and phase out Aguero that way and we'll, we'll see what happens from there, but yeah, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if Aguero does sign a new contract and it is two years, I imagine the Messi rumours will then go crazy, so... 
yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts of that anyway in the comments below. Now, moving on to the outs, we've got an update on Nathaniel Ogbeta, or Ogbeta, I'm not too sure you say his name. Um, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the City youngster, uh, he says he doesn't think he's going to be offered a new deal at Manchester City. His contract, like Aguero, is up in the summer as well. Uh, and he's saying that he wants to go and try his luck uh, abroad. Uh, he doesn't think he's going to break into the Manchester City team. He's 19 years old and he is wanting now to discuss pre-contract agreements with foreign clubs because he is allowed to do that right now. Uh, apparently, he's attracting interest from England. He won't be able to speak to them uh, until roughly around a month before his contract is up. But he's also attracting interest from Germany. So, if any German clubs wanted to offer him a pre-contract agreement, he could sign that to sign for them in the summer uh, no clubs have been mentioned just where the uh, clubs that are interested what country they're from uh, so not too sure on uh, the reliability of this information but this is coming from allnigeriasoccer.com um, again not dealt with them um, I'm, I'm, I don't think so I don't know how reliable uh, this information is but it sounds almost too specific not to be true so We'll see, we'll see, but I wouldn't blame Mug better if he wanted to go and leave Manchester City and try his luck abroad. I would encourage other young players that can't break into the City squad to do the same, and I think it is good for the young players to do that. Now, moving on to uh, another update on Eric Garcia, everyone's favourite transfer saga, and this looks set to go on now until the summer. Yay. Anyway, Hagrid FCB has been saying that Barcelona Chiefs have decided that due to their finances and uh, obviously uh, the presidential election being postponed due to that and that's going to take place now on March 7th, uh, that Eric Garcia will not be signing for Barcelona this month. Uh, that's a big surprise, isn't it? Yes, that's irony. Um, but yeah, uh, apparently uh, Barcelona were thinking of paying around €8 million Euros for him. Uh, they don't think Manchester City are going to negotiate on top of that. City won't accept that offer, so they're just going to leave that there. They're going to try and get him on a, a pre-contract agreement, which apparently Barcelona are confident of getting done. That can get done at any one time between now and June 30th. I'd have thought Barcelona want to get that signed and sealed because the longer that does drag, drag on and the uncertainty surrounds Barcelona, um, Eric Garcia could do one of two things, either sign for another club on a pre-contract agreement and trust me there'll be other teams out there that would want Garcia or Garcia signing a new contract but I think them uh, bridges may have been burnt but uh, yeah we'll see what happens with that I'm still thoroughly expecting uh, Eric Garcia to uh, become a Barcelona player at some point or another it's a matter of uh, when rather than if now, moving on to the ins, uh, a little update on Mario Mandzukic, who's a player who was linked with in the summer, three contracts, of course. He was a short-term option for Manchester City up front, could have given him a six-month uh, contract or an 18-month contract if he wanted to, if he was uncertain about Aguero. But again, just like the uh, Luka Jovic uh, situation, which I forgot to mention what team he joined, he joined his former club, Eintracht Frankfurt, by the way, on loan. Mario Mandzukic now is off the table as well, as according to Fabrizio Romano, he is now in Milan, ready to sign his contract and do his medical to signed for AC Milan on F3 so that again is another option for Manchester City to take off the table so yeah, where will we go from there? Now, lastly, to speak about, uh, the Telegraph have been reporting that Manchester City are going to spend north of £200 million in the summer on new players. Interesting, they've mentioned that City are looking at a left-back in the summer. So, uh, cue the rumours over the next few days of uh, left-backs. Defensive midfield is apparently another position City are looking for, if that is the case, and that means that Fernandinho more than likely uh, will leave. Like I said, I'm more than happy for Fernandinho to sign a new contract and still City to go after a new central midfielder, so City will be looking towards that. I wouldn't have thought City be looking to spend too much on a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder and a left back I wouldn't have thought that would even come to a hundred million pounds if I'm honest so it seems like City are ready to spend big in the summer on one player I think we're looking at around 80 to 100 million pounds I reckon on a player to be brought in in attack Erling Haaland possibly maybe, Latoura Martinez, something like that. I think something big is going to happen in the summer. I think this story is just getting through that that will happen. Um, so, yeah, I think that is a lot for everybody to look forward to in the summer transfer windows, which, yes, we will be doing daily videos on them as well for everybody to look forward to. So if you haven't already, then make sure that you do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. 200 mil for City to spend. Who do you want in the summer? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget also to leave a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy this video. Aiming for 300 likes, any help towards that would be much appreciated. And also my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And once again, 10am GMT. We'll be back again tomorrow for another Manchester City transfer update. So I've been JSGC. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you for watching. Peace. Ciao for now.